Hey guys, what's up? Al here from Alan M Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at Lacazette's first informed version card. I can't believe this is only his first informed version, but I guess he's not being very good this season. We are going to pick him up. I think I believe there's one on the market for 149,000 coins. That's going to be the cheapest card out of the lot. Let's go in and buy this card now. Hopefully it'll let us. Yep. So we've got that card there. For around 150,000 coins, that's what he's going to be going for. I don't believe that will drop too much. His baseline stats, he's got 87 pace, 87 dribbling, 85 shot and 78 physical. With 3 star weak foot and 4 star skills. That 3 star weak foot might be a bit of a problem. Uh, I've not yet played with him, obviously I've just bought him. So we'll see, have to see what that's like in the in-game highlights. His attribute details, he's got 84 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. That attack position is quite nice. Attack position is normally quite high for a striker. 89 finishing, only 77 long shots, which is quite surprising. We'll see if that's a key factor. 86 penalties, you know, short pass, long pass, not great. Uh, pretty good on the ball, 87 dribbling overall, 89 agility, 87 reactions, 85 ball control, 87 dribbling with 81 stamina and 80 strength. They are his baseline stats and his attribute details. So before not, let's go in and get on to the in-game highlights and see what he's actually like. Okay guys, so I did manage to play over 10 games with this informed Lacazette card. I was quite impressed with it, but I do believe there are going to be better options for you uh, in the BPL, whether it's your Aguero or whether it's your son. I believe his long shots lets him down terribly, and we're going to be seeing that in some of the highlights. Uh, but he's 89 finishing from close range, you can see in these highlights. You know, from 12, 12, 6 to 12 yards, he's going to score. those These type of chances, that nice little kickoff glitch. Uh, puts me 1-0 ahead and those sort of chances he's not going to miss. Nice build up play here from Lacazette and Lacazette's through 1-on-1. One -one. Of course he's going to finish a chance like that into the bottom left hand corner. That's his 77 long shots coming into fruition there. You know his 77 long shots aren't too bad but when you compare them to an Aguero, when you compare them to a Son, another striker, another top class striker like that, he is pretty poor. Um, but as I say, chances inside and around the box, his 89 finishing does come into his fruition. He's also 89 attack position. He's in the right place at the right time. It's what I really like from a striker for him to get the rebound, goals and stuff like that. Again, inside the box, typical Lacazette finish. He's not going to miss them with his 89 finishing and 82 shot power. As I say, with his long shots as well, his shot power does let him down uh, slightly. And you are going to see, that's another long shot there from Lacazette. But there are highlights coming up where he's going to hit the post, he's going to hit the bar. Um, and long shots, you, you you want to be reliable. You want them going in probably nine times out of ten. And I'd say they were only going in about seven, six, six or seven times out of ten um, with Lacazette. I did like his dribbling on the ball. He's got nice close control dribbling. But when you compare it to Zaha, who I reviewed last week, his dribbling was absolutely insane. And he wouldn't lose the ball at all. Uh, I'd say his strength was also a little bit of a weakness. Um, as well because he does get muscled off the ball and there you see with his long shot uh, it doesn't nestle into the top left hand corner it, it just misses and hits the bar I believe that's his 77 overall coming out overall that as well he did score a few goals on his left on his left foot because he has he's obviously predominantly right footed so that's three star weak foot coming into fruition and therefore he hits the post again so his long shots aren't always um, up to scratch with what they need to be Sane cuts in and finds Lacazette. This is a nice goal in the 86 minute to put me 2 1 up and I go on and win that game. Uh, as I say, there are better options for Lacazette. I wouldn't play him down too much because his price is really good. Uh, off kickoff again here. Williams going to play the ball, swing it in for the kickoff glitch to put me 3 2 ahead with a, Lacaz a nice Lacazette goal there. Um, as I say, if, if you if you haven't got many coins, like this Lacazette card is a good option. I did play with his um, his non-informed card, and there's his 89 attack position. Uh, I'm not sure I could notice too many differences. I'm not checked his stat increase of how much he's increased uh, with this uh, card. Again, there's his attack position in there, and just proof that I did go on to win that daily knockout tournament and qualify for foot champions because I didn't play it the week before. I had to win that daily knockout tournament. So let's get into his pros and cons. I've already gone through most of them. His 89 attack position, he's in the right place at the right time, gets in good positions. 89 finishing <clears throat> in and inside, in and in, in and around the box, he's going to score every time. And I did quite like his dribbling, but not as good when you compare it to Zaha and players like that. His cons, he gets muscled off the ball, he's only got 80 strength. I've said constantly about his 77 long shots not being up to scratch and also his free star weak foot. He is a good option for the amount of coins, but you know, there is better options out there. And I'd probably recommend like Inform Son cards or an inform Aguero or something like that. So I gave him, obviously he's worth 150,000 coins, I gave him an overall rating of 
7.5 out of 10 and 8 out of 10 value for coins because I believe he is quite good value for coins but overall I think there's better strikers out there guys and better players. So obviously if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more then be sure to like and subscribe. But for now this is Al signing out from Allen Gaming and I'll see you in the next video.